So a $25,000 Tesla was mentioned at Battery Day, or Battery Day, and everyone has been talking about it. It's been the talk of the town. So today, we're gonna deep dive on everything we know about the $25,000 Tesla model, who knows what it's gonna be called, and we're gonna go through the history, tweets, previous things that Elon and Tesla have said to build a big picture on this car. Let's go. Guys, if you can do me a massive favor, head down to the like button, hit the like button. If you like content like this, please subscribe. And as always, share this on Twitter for me. Salute to the bros who are doing that at the moment. Thank you. So, what are we gonna be covering today? The name, what it will look like, the range, where it's gonna be built, the price, performance, robo-taxi, and production date. So the first thing I'm gonna get out of the way is what I think the name of the car is gonna be. This is going wild on Twitter right now. Yeah, so let's just jump straight into this, get this one cleared up and out of the way. So online at the moment, it's been hailed as the Model 2. And I think this is the most popular name for it. Everyone's calling it Model 2. But I also think this is probably not what it's gonna be called. And the reason I think that is because the Model 3 was not called the Model 3 out of choice, it was chose because they actually wanted to call it the Model E. And at the time, Ford had supposedly were building a Model E and they had trademark over it, I think. And they said they would sue Tesla if they didn't change the name. So Elon wanted sexy, S, Model S, Model X, sorry, Model S, Model E, Model X, Model Y. And now he couldn't do that. So he decided to call it the Model 3 and have the three lines um, and get away, get around it that way. So then it was called the Model 3. But originally, the Model 3 would have been called the Model E. So, following suit with that, would Tesla and Elon call the Model, the new model, the Model 2? I don't think so. So, some people call it the most expensive and difficult joke in history to, to be able to write sexy with the cars. I kind of agree. Um, but it wasn't by coincidence, it was actually out of choice, and he doubled down on it recently. Some people thought this was a mistake, or they thought it was just a happy coincidence, that now it says sexy cars. So we have, we have the S, the 3, the X and the Y for sexy, then we have the Cybertruck, the ATV, the Roadster, and the Semi to make sexy cars. And people thought that maybe it was just a happy coincidence, but recently, at Battery Day, Elon lined up uh, cars. So he put the Cybertruck, the ATV, the Roadster, and the S in order to spell cars. So going with that theme, will Elon carry on this joke? I think there's a possibility that he will carry on this joke. So what are the options to carry on this joke? What would the model be called? So two would still work. Two sexy cars, two sexy cars. Play on words, that would still work. But then we could have something like an exclamation mark at the end. So we could have um, the model the model exclamation. I don't know how they'd, they'd, they'd name it, but you have the, at the moment, VW have an up exclamation mark. So I don't know if that would work, including them. But there'd probably be another lawsuit on hand for Tesla. But I think the best opportunity that they have to keep with the lineup and also have a new name is the, and this is my, this is my prediction. If I had to put money on it, this is my prediction. I would say the Model A. Um, you could still fit in the title, as in A Sexy Cars, or A Sexy Car, um, but I think what they could do is take the ATV out of the lineup and put the Model A, because the ATV is not really a model, in my opinion, so I think the A could be where we get, the, so we get the Model A. So we take the A out of cars and put in the new A from the Model A. The reason I also think it could be called Model A is because this car is gonna be based heavily on autonomy. So Model A, A for autonomy, I, I think it, it's very possible that it's called Model A and if I was putting my money anywhere, it, was called, it should be called Model A. That's what I'm saying. Now there is a caveat to that. Um, there is the Model A, the Ford Model A. Again, we've had this lawsuit already. It's a classic car. Will they still have um, ownership over it? Will they still own the Model A? I don't know. If they don't, I'm saying Model A all the way. 
But yeah, Model is my prediction. But I did notice a tweet recently. Let me see if I've got it in my pocket. Someone put this up. Now, I don't know the truth in this. Oh, my phone's dead. There was, there was a tweet that surfaced recently, and I don't know if this was from a while ago. Um, Neither if you can pop it up, pop it up. But um, there was a tweet that I saw where Elon says, maybe we won't follow these sexy cars on the next model. Maybe we'll give up on that. Who knows? I don't know if it's true. Um, but if they are following that, Model A it is. It's an educated guess. What is your guess? Is it, is it still Model 2? I, I personally think Model A has the best chance and it's got the, the uh, greatest opportunity to be existent. So I'm saying Model A, if I'm right, uh, if you think I'm right, go hit the like button. If you think I'm wrong, drop a comment below. What will it look like? What will the car look like? Okay, so there's loads of concepts, crazy concepts coming up. This is the concept that's been up the most. So this is the one that's been passed around the most. But in my opinion, at the $25,000 mark, I don't think that's the car we're gonna see. In the Tesla world, $25,000 is cheap, but in the auto industry, $25,000 is, is, you should buy you a nice car. So I wouldn't expect such a compact car so what what i would do to find out where this car is going in terms of looks is look at the competition what can you buy for around twenty five thousand dollars that is a compact car and there's one car that comes to my mind it, that screams not screams but used to scream high quality production an okay price and a compact car and that is the vw golf the volkswagen golf would be at that $25,000 mark. It, it starts around $25,000 and it's a, you can get it in a five door variant. It's a smaller car, very popular in Europe. And I think in terms of size, that is what we would be looking at for the Tesla Model A. Yes, for the rest of the video, I'm gonna call it a Tesla Model A. Um, but yeah, that's what I think we'd be looking at. So between a Model 3 and a VW Golf, smashed together, had a baby, that's the kind of size, the size of the VW, the dimensions of the VW, and the looks and design takes from the Model 3. That's just my opinion, that's where I think we're gonna end up. We could also look at something like the uh, BMW 1 Series, that's the similar kind of size again. Again, I'd, I'd say that it wouldn't be as aggressive as the, as the BMW 1 Series, it'd probably stay a, like a nice smooth car like the Model 3. But again, size from that car, Design, design cues from the Model 3, or even something like the um, A-Class, the Mercedes A-Class, again, around the same price bracket. So, you know, that's who they're competing with, the VW Golf, the A-Class, -A the, the One Series. So it has to be kind of, it has to beat these, it has to be leading in its class, so it has to beat it for size, and I think it will, just for the fact that it's an EV, so there'll be more size inside. But it'll probably be about the same sort of um, size on the outside and it has to be its performance which i think it will again it has to be its looks which i think you know it's that's a, a different a different matter but if it's got the model 3 design cues but similar size as these these three cars i think it would do well but yeah if we're looking at a co competitor to mark it up against the same way we mark up the model 3 against the 3 series or um a similar mercedes that's what we're looking at we're going to look at the one series in the a class and the golf so yeah, it's gonna be slightly smaller than the Model 3, but I don't think too much smaller. What I'm trying to say is I don't think we're gonna see a two-door hot hatch or an extremely small hot hatch. I don't think that's what we're gonna see right now. So four, a, a five-door, but four doors, four doors and a boot, uh, or a hatch, four doors and a hatch. I don't think we're gonna see a two-door car. That's just my opinion. But with all that being said, who knows? We saw the Cybertruck. Elon could come out and carry on that Cybertruck look. So we could get a Cyber hot hatch. Who knows? I think it will follow very close to the Model 3 design. So then we'll do the interior of what will it look like. It's going to look like a Model 3. It's going to be super stripped down inside. It's going to look like a Model 3. I think we'll see a lot more plastic, uh, plastic dashboards. I think we'll probably see some sort of um, material going on the seats as opposed to like a faux leather. So I think it'll be more of a, I don't know what you call it, textile material. Is that right? That's what I think we'll see. I don't think we're gonna see faux leather. There might be a premium interior, but they need to be able to produce this on mass scale. So a lot more plastic inside. It'll still look nice, but a lot more plastic. Um, completely decluttered. Probably one small screen. We'll still have a screen for sure. Um, and nothing else. So basically what the Model 3 is, but just even more stripped back, even more bare than that. 
Um, yeah, and that's it. I don't think we're going to get the premium features. We might not get heated seats. There might be like an ex additional op optional extra. But everything that Tesla does is all about efficiency. So for building these cars, if they're not going to have the option of heated seats, it will save them putting it in all their cars. Because what they do is they don't... Elon builds the Model 3 and Tesla build the Model 3 with heated seats throughout the whole car. Every single Tesla that's gone out there, Model 3 has had heated seats in. It's just an, a feature that's enabled. So if they're not going to do heated seats in any of the Model A, then they're going to have no heated seats whatsoever. So that won't even be an option. Who knows? I think we could also see Model 3 seating being used. There's going to be a lot of, in terms of manufacturing, they want to make it as cheap as possible by using similar sort of things. So then we talk about range. What will the range be on the $25,000 car? Well, it was announced at Battery Day, so the Battery Tech has improved. Um, it's a smaller car. So I currently drive the Standard Range Plus Tesla Model 3, which has around 230 miles of range on, on the car, which is more than enough to do 1,000 miles. 1,000 uh, mile road trip, sorry. I've done it before, it's more than enough. So taking that into consideration, that's the lowest range Tesla they do. Elon recently said that the 215 to 220 mile Model Y, it's standard range Model Y is being scrapped because it's not enough range. So in my opinion, the Model A has to come above that range. I think we will see a range of around 220 to 230 miles on the standard range Model A. The reason for that is because I think it's more than enough for the European market, which I think is kind of where this is being pushed more towards. It's more than enough currently for the standard range plus model 3 and it's just above the threshold which elon says is not enough range um, so i think that's what we're going to see i think we're going to see a 220 to 230 mile model a at the standard range variant so then you say what happens to standard range plus model 3 well i think the standard range plus model 3 is just going to get um either a bigger battery or more range or it'll be phased out and maybe we'll see a rear wheel drive long range tesla model 3 um, or maybe we call this standard range, but it'll just have the same battery pack as the long range. Um, so I think we'll just see the Model 3's range increase accordingly. So where we're seeing a 220 to 230 mile Model A, I think we'll probably see a 290 to 300 mile standard range Model 3. So I think it'll just push everything else up. But range for the Model A, 220 to 230 miles. And in the European market and the UK market and even the Chinese market, I think that's going to be fine. I think in the US, some people, the Model A just wouldn't be applicable for. But I think for most people, for your daily driving, it would be fine. It'd be okay. But what are your predictions? I, that's, I think that's a very good guess, in my opinion. But does anyone think more? Does anyone think less? I think some people are saying... 150 miles. I don't think it will be that low personally. So where are these going to be built? Well, in my opinion, the first ones I think we'll see are out of Giga Berlin. And the reason for that is because the, there's a huge, huge European market. Obviously, there's a massive appetite for an affordable Tesla in the United States. Um, the, the, we've got factories there already, but I just think the Model A is more geared at the European market. Tesla has the data. Tesla know which country uses the most amount of range, and I, I think, again, it will be Europe. Just my opinion, Europe, Europe like a smaller car, the UK like a smaller car. I think we'll see them coming out of Giga Berlin first, but I do think we're just going to see them all over the world. The, the appetite in America and the brand loyalty in America is a lot stronger. So the idea of people wanting to buy an affordable Tesla in the US is still huge, it's massive. I'm not 100% brushed up on China, but I could imagine that um, a small compact car would do well. I just don't think, in China they have extremely compact cars, like tiny cars. Um, so is it gonna be small enough? I don't know, but yeah, it, it will do well all around the world. I just think we'll see it coming out of Giga Berlin first. That's just my opinion. Price. Okay, so they've quoted $25,000. They also said there'll be a $35,000 standard range plus Tesla, standard range Tesla. That was a squeeze for, for Tesla to get that $35,000 car out. $25,000 starting price. It's still not super cheap in my opinion. I think they're going to try and get it down even cheaper. I think they're going get, to get down to the 20k mark. If they want to make a global impact, that's kind of where they need to get to. They've said $25,000. I think we'll probably see it at the $27,000, $28,000, maybe even $30,000 to start with. Um, they'll probably do a hot 
hatch version or a, or a performance version at the 32 to 35k mark. Um, I think we'll probably see the cheaper version coming out later in the year after, similar to what we saw with the Model 3. Performance, what would the performance be? Um, I think the performance model will probably do like a 3.9 seconds. I think they'll do a performance model. I think it'll be around 3.9 seconds. And they'll probably have a, a, a middle ranged one, which will probably do around 4.9 nine something like that and then we'll probably see a standard range one we'll probably be doing around 5.9 something like that closer to six second mark very quick cars i think a hot hatch version of it would actually be able to do faster speeds due to the fact that they're probably using similar motors to the model three in the model a and also you're gonna have a smaller battery pack so it's probably capable of more but a hot hatch like that would be unbelievable for Tesla. It'd be a wicked little track car and a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, I'd say at the fastest end, around 3.9, because they can't destroy what the Model 3 is doing. Elon mentioned RoboTaxi. I think these cars are going to be geared towards RoboTaxi, so they'll, they'll be capable, obviously, of full autonomy. And I think this is probably part of the master plan to get as many of these cars produced as possible out on the road and then have people ride sharing and using them as RoboTaxi. Something I wanted to briefly mention. Um, so I think maybe they could sell at a loss for the fact that they're gonna have the robo taxi fleet, who knows, but I definitely think a large portion of it is that they're gonna be using this for the robo taxi fleet. Subscription-based robo taxi, so having a subscription to own a Model A or ha have it as a Model A, I think is very possible. Again, it's we don't know where this is going. Tesla wants to keep up the model that they sell every car that they make. What, what happens when they outstrip that? What happens when they're not selling every car that they make? Maybe they offer subscription to make sure that every car that they make is earning revenue. I think it's something that we could, could see in the future. Um, first of all, we'd have to get to a point where they're not selling cars anymore, and I think that's a long way down the road. Production date, three years from now. Uh, is that too, too close? Um, I don't think so. I think e Elon and Tesla have now nailed their timings with it all. I think that we'll probably see a Model A in the next three years. Just my opinion, I think we're not running on Elon time anymore. We're starting to see these cars come out when they say they're gonna come out. Um, so yeah, the factories are already there. It's just getting those lines up. I think we'll start to see Model A's in three years. Here's the last thing I wanna leave you guys with is just a thought. What happens in three years if they just take the Model 3 and they take all the components inside and they just make them cheaper? What happens if they just make the dashboard pure plastic, the seats really cheap materials, and they make the batteries more efficient and cheaper? And just what happens if that's the case? What happens if they just make a super cheap Model 3? $25,000 is not far off the $35,000. You know, all they have to shave off is an extra three grand a year. I think that could be possible. I think the reason if that's the case, if the Model 3 hangs about and it's maybe it's called the Model 3 Lite, why is that not possible? I think that is possible. I think the only reason they wouldn't announce that right now is because it would destroy Model 3 sales. They can't say that. Uh, so that is a strong possibility. What do you guys think? To shave three grand off per, per year up until the release date, I think it's possible. And then the machines are already there, the manufacturing's already there, the distribution for it, everything's already there just a Model 3 Lite, I don't know, or the Model Lite, I don't know. Guys, what do you think? If you think my opinions are good, please drop a like. If you think they're wrong, let me know why. Let's have, open up a discussion down below. Please share this on Twitter. As always, guys, if you think about buying a Tesla, there's a link in the description. You get a 1,000 free supercharging miles. It helps support the channel. It helps me do road trips on the, uh, on, in my Tesla Model 3. As always, you have been wonderful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.